In response to the escalating tensions between the Mete and Kuki community in Manipur, which resulted in the burning and vandalizing of several churches and schools and the harassment of the Christian community, the Religious Conference of India organized a rally in Nongpo of Meghalaya today. The event aimed at demonstrating solidarity with the Christian community in Manipur and across the country. A meeting took place at the Nongpo town shopping complex. Church leaders and Catholic believers from the Nongpo parish in Reboy district attended the event. Following the meeting, a rally was conducted during which participants displayed placards condemning the recent incidents in Manipur and expressing their outrage at the persecution and discrimination faced by the Christian community. Church leaders addressing the gathering expressed deep concern over the mistreatment suffered by many Christians in Manipur. They highlighted the widespread vandalizing of churches and schools. The community has demanded swift and severe punishment for those responsible. Ki hap ino yala ki ying kisem ki la shat thang ki ying jing don ki jing em jing don jing don jing em ki jong ki ki la hap an ino ya ki ying kisem ki kendeo ki shia kaspa ka peo thli ki mi na ki ying ki jong ki ki pet wir kat shaba ki poi tang ban pen lai yala ka jing em but bun ba ki kristan ki badon haki kam lan ki haki refugee kam klem da don ya ki jing pen bit pen biang ka biang na ka sarkar jong ka state lane na ka ka sarkar jong ka manipur but kumjuru na ka sarkar ba lane na central government te hakani ka por ngi kum ki kan hon ba red lane minority ngi kwa ban pen e places of worship and anyone who dare to speak against the government they were hunted down using the government machinery like cbi or ed Today we are here to silently express and protest against what is happening in Manipur and in other parts of our beloved country. This morning I was speaking to a father who returned from Manipur last night. He told me the newspapers in Imphal is full of narrative, narrative of how a particular community is affected. and it is all because of the militants of another community a tribal community i think the present dispensation uses lies and lies and when it is repeated again and again many of us believe that that is truth unfortunately but then the society is not bad because of the bad people but it is bad because of the silence of the good and that's why i'm proud that you're all gathered here this afternoon and i think that is what uh, tagore said in his uh, poem gidanjali he said stop this telling of beads and reciting songs whom are you worshiping in the dark corner of your temple open your eyes and see that the lord is not before you he is there when the path maker is breaking the stone and the tiller is tilling the ground remove your holy mantle and go and be even like them i think that is the invitation of jesus today i was just wondering what would jesus do today if he was among us pewan pani lani pewan ai ya kata ka ya kum kane ka program kane ka program ka ba la organize dai professional kadai gawai ka program ka badan kamtam ha ga jingim ka jonga jong phi iwe pe iwe nadu kamtam mangi gibreu nadu umrat umreng mano bomdan kam ya ka jingsuk paro khai nyuat ka jingsuk trai jisuru kula kula kren hi dala de ka jingsuk nga ai bat phi hanre manga ma phi iwe pe iwe ni ni nyimla ban long ki ta ki atiar jong ka jingsuk come together to stand united to demonstrate our unwavering support and solidarity with those who are bearing the brunt of escalating injustices in our beloved nation our hearts ache for the countless individuals who have become victims of injustices and we pledge our commitment to addressing these pressing concerns from targeting violence against christians and tribals in manipur to relentless attacks on church personnel and institutions the disturbing normalization of hate speeches our country is witnessing a wave of alarming events 
Additionally, we cannot overlook the dire circumstances faced by our brave women wrestlers whose voice of protest have fallen on deaf ears. Today, we are going to gather in Nongpo to be a voice for the voiceless, the advocates for justice, the agents of change. We must rise above our differences, embrace compassion and reject hatred. It is our shared responsibility to ensure that principles of equality and justice permeate every aspect of our society. Let us march forward with determination, knowing that our collective efforts can make a difference.